There's Jeff Gordon, who was pensively waiting for the cars to move away. And alongside his teammate, Jeff Gordon, same front row as last weekend at Rockingham. There's the huge crowd on hand here this afternoon for the third race of the 96 season, our first NASCAR Winston Cup telecast, and we're ready to go. Benson rolls out of the pit area, but he's a lap down as the battle up front is underway. Labonte has taken the lead, but look at Bobby Hamilton getting past Jeff Gordon for second. Largest base here, and, and Rich, Jeff Gordon takes over the second spot from his teammate, Terry Labonte. Gordon making the move in turns three and four, going to the inside of Labonte. In the third turn, is he going to be able to do it? Looks like he will. So now, both Benson and Michael Waltrip are back on the lead lap. Hamilton is the leader, but now is getting a challenge from Jeff Gordon. See Jeff Gordon on the back bumper of Bobby Hamilton. That's first. The 43 STP is the leader of the race. The 24, Jeff Gordon, is second. Easy does it. Says, don't, don't abuse the car. Remember the tire concern. And Bobby said, I'm not. But I wanted to lead a few laps, and then suddenly to get comfortable. But I'm so comfortable up here leading, and I'm really not punching the car. And Robin said, fine. Just be very careful with those front tires. We told you that Bobby Hamilton led 36 laps last week. He also led five laps in th on this racetrack last fall during the night race. Oh! Meanwhile, Jeff Gordon's crew has already changed four tires. The defending series champion is down and away. Gordon is playing in his car, had a push going in, and was very loose coming off the corner. Never going to make an air pressure adjustment on the Jerry is in Bobby Hamilton's pit. Well, 37-year-old Bobby Hamilton brings the STP Pontiac in. 43, 24, and three stacked. As you watch them top to bottom, STP Pontiac, middle of your screen is the Gordon car with the Chevrolet, bottom of the screen, the Goodrich Chevy. Watching the crews now go to the left side, put left side tires on. Problems with the right rear a little bit on the 43 car. Now they come to the left side as they watch left side work being done. And Earnhardt is down and away, 23.4 seconds, 23 flat for Gordon. Just as you return once again, the green flag comes out, and we are back to racing on lap number 85. And at the front of the field is Jeff Gordon with Rusty Wallace running second. Now, at this time last year, Jeff Gordon had already won a race at Rockingham. This is the first time that he has led a lap in 1996. Well, there are your top three, plus Johnny Benson, Gordon, Rusty Wallace, Bobby Hamilton, and not too far behind Hamilton is fourth place, Dale Earnhardt. There he is, moving to the inside of Johnny Benson. Well, we have a Chevy, a Ford, and a Pontiac, top three. That's what I call parody. And there we have the lead change, and Rusty Wallace takes the lead to Miller Ford, and here comes Hamilton in the Pontiac. Taking second place away from Jeff Gordon. Say what, Rusty's closed up right on the back bumper of Hamilton and yep, bringing Jeff Gordon along with him. Jeff is a lap down and so are these cars, at least one lap down. Well, look at this. It is still a one, two, three situation. Hamilton, Wallace, and Gordon as they put a lap on the 11 car. Right now, this is kind of stabilized. Nobody is uh, changing positions up front. <laughs> oh, Hamilton took a look on the inside of Bodine. And when he got to the corner, Bodine turned left and said, wow. Dale Jarrett has just moved into fourth position. Move back around Mark Martin. They've traded that position a couple of times here during the screen flag run. Uh-oh, there we saw Musgraver side by side. And up front, it's Gordon and Wallace side by side for second. Gordon got a run coming off turn four. Got alongside Rusty Wallace and is trying his best to take over that second spot. But Rusty is going to try his best to find him on back on the outside. It's not going to work. It doesn't appear. Good, clean, close racing there between Gordon and Wallace. Pit stops are going to be coming up pretty soon. We're going to get a quick commercial break in here so that we can come back. And, and we have a new leader. How about that? Jeff Gordon, the DuPont Chevrolet, blew by Bobby Hamilton and is gone in. And right now, there we see Ned. 
Just moves down to the inside. Now, I think Hamilton's tires have completely gone away on his Pontiac because Jeff Gordon, once he made this pass, as you see him coming off of turn four, well, Hamilton's car gets a little bit loose and he just uh, drives away. And he's also lost second place to Rusty Wallace. So it's now Gordon, Wallace, and Bobby Hamilton back to third. Robert Presley running fourth, Dale Jarrett in fifth. Now, Jimmy Spencer, the Smoke and Joe car, made a pit stop with those fresh tires. We can see just how how fast, much faster he is than the leader of the race, Jeff Gordon. Dale Earnhardt has dropped all the way back to 13th position. Well, the 33 car is definitely gaining on Jeff Gordon. The 33, of course, being Robert Presley. And look at Presley's lap times and how they compare to Jeff Gordon's. Wow. Look at that, 23.8 versus 24.3. That's a half second. Jeff Gordon, the leader, also on pit road for his service. Jeff Gordon will get four tires from Ray Everett Hammond Company and a clean windshield. Meanwhile, left side tires going on the Goodrich Chevrolet. He is down and away, and work continues at the far end of pit road as Earnhardt leaves on the Jeff Gordon car. Jeff Gordon goes back to the front of the pack. So pit stops have been completed and Jeff Gordon comes out as the leader. There's Jeff Gordon, the leader of the race, coming up on Ernie Irvin, who is in 30th position, just one lap down, but is about to go two laps down. And Darrell Waltrip just passed Jeff Gordon and got back in the lead lap. Yep. Darrell was running 20 seconds, so I don't know if Gordon's having problems or... These guys uh, picked up some speed. I don't think he's uh, losing any any time to Bobby Hamilton. It's just that uh, it could be that Darrell Waltrip and Ricky Craven stopped later than did Jeff Gordon and changed their tires. Is one reason they were left, but now they have pressure tires, so they're able to run faster than Jeff Gordon. I think that's the case, Benny. Good point. Darrell Waltrip, the leading active driver in number of wins. Doc? There isn't a problem with Jeff Gordon, but every time, almost every lap, Ray Everham, I tell you, I wish you could hear this, Ray Everham is talking to his young driver, saying, take it easy, you're doing well, you're doing well. About 20 laps ago, Gordon told him, he said, now, don't worry if they go by you, they'll back up and you'll go right back by them, which is exactly what happened. So every time by, he's coaching his young driver, somewhat of a pep talk, but also some coaching saying, take it easy, don't use it up, don't waste the tires, be very, very smooth. So there's no problem with Gordon a minute ago, you saw Walter. Go by. There's the leader, Jeff Gordon, with Walter right ahead of him. That's Morgan Shepard, who just came in for a pit stop, so he's got some fresh rubber on. And Gordon is still being passed by cars. There's yeah. Derek Coke going by. Derek normally runs good here, but uh, Gordon, I don't think he's, his car is quite as good as it might have been a little bit earlier. I think you're right. I think that both Hamilton and Presley are gaining on Jeff Gordon. 2.5 seconds now between first and third. Then we have a new leader of the Pontiac Excitement 400 at Richmond International Raceway, and here's how it happened. That's the 12 car. Derek Cope and Ernie Irving, the 28. They get 24 off the gas a little bit, and Bobby Hamilton goes by the STP Pontiac 199, and then... Well, that was 199. Next time will be the halfway signal, and Bobby Hamilton will pick up the Gatorade halfway money of 10,000, isn't it, Ned? Yep, 10,000 bucks. Wow. A good piece of change. How about that? Huh? Now and we see Robert Presley closing in on Jeff Gordon. And here it is, cross flags. Bobby Hamilton leads at halfway, picks up the money. And Jerry is with Ray Everham. Ray, you had a comfortable lead. Now you've lost the lead. Is there a problem with the car? No, that 43 car is awful strong. Uh, our car is better on long runs. Uh, we got tangled up in some lap traffic, but I think we're going to be all right. You know, the 43 car is awful strong, so we just have to keep working on our car. You keep telling your young driver to be smooth and just take your time and get a rhythm up. He seems to be listening. Yeah, he's doing a real good job. It's just like he used to drive those dirt sprint cars, and they burned the tires off, and this is kind of along the same thing. He's got to leave the tires on that thing if he wants to win the 100-mile the dirt race. Well, that's Ray Everham telling his young driver, you can't burn those rear tires off. You've got to be patient. That's what he's told him to do. 
Hey, Doc, go tell Ray this is not a 100-mile dirt race. It's a 400-lap <laughs> race here on a three-quarter-mile paved racetrack. But I understand exactly what he's saying. they got to keep the tires on the car. And now Jeff Gordon is coming back. Maybe Hamilton used his tires up just a little bit too much, chasing down Jeff Gordon. And watch as Jeff Gordon closes up right on the back bumper of Hamilton. Or maybe Bobby went up there to get that 10 grand. That could be, yeah. And Okay, now I don't want to run fast anymore. <laughs> you can have it back. Looking back on Jeff from Bobby's car. And we see Rusty Wallace back in the picture there. He's back in four spot, and uh, there's just one car between he and Robert Presley. Hamilton and Gordon, first and second. Jeff Bodine moves over and gives him plenty of room. He's three laps down. Make that four laps down now in 35th position after being involved in a crash up in turn two. Look at Gordon come up on Bobby again. As a matter of fact, Jeff Bodine, folks, you saw the parachute he has on his car. <laughs> the left rear quarter panel or fender is flared out, and I know that's got to be slowing the car down, down the straightaway, catching all that air. And Gordon looks down on the inside of Hamilton. Yep, once that lead back, we remind you again of a statistic. We remind you, as was pointed out earlier in the show, Jeff Gordon had his worst finish of 1995, 36th here last year. He's battling Bobby Hamilton for the lead here this afternoon, but in his rear view mirror, not too far behind, is the two car of Rusty Wallace. 1.3 seconds as a matter of fact and here we have a battle for the lead on the front stretch it's Gordon on the inside Hamilton on the inside and Gordon has it and there's only 1.3 second difference between second and third Bobby's gonna look and say now where did he pick up that speed that he didn't have when I passed him there a while ago. He probably rode along behind Bobby Hamilton and saw the line that he was running and said, hey, maybe that is a little bit better. So cooled his tires a little bit and came up there and went right back by. It's less than a second interval now between Hamilton and Rusty Wallace down to eight tenths of a second. There's Rusty from Excitement 400, third race of the 96 NASCAR Winston Cup season from Richmond International Raceway in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And Jeff Gordon is the man who is leading this event with 217 laps completed. And look how Burton has closed in on the leader, Jeff Gordon, in the last few laps. We timed laps 213 to 217. It was a 2.6 second interval at 213 down to 2.1 on lap 217. So Burton is definitely one of the faster cars on the racetrack. Right, John Kernan? This is a mix. <laughs> it is a lot of it. Dale Jarrett got by both the Rusty Wallace and Terry Labonte car there as Jeff Burton just continues the charge towards the front. He has caught Jeff Gordon, the two Jeff. Now it's the Jeff and Jeff yeah, show. No longer right. the Dale and Dale show. <laughs> Here's the push race like recap. Uh, Jeff Gordon Leading 72 with the first 221 laps, 15 lead changes, three cautions for 15 laps, average speed 105.8. Here are the lap leaders and those who have picked up five bonus points, and we're going to add another name to that list because Jeff Burton will lead lap 224. Unbelievable. 